when you have mm -hmm. um right when um can can you hear me yes ma'am right so when you have cards which are related <clears throat> to pediatric scenarios or scenarios mm -hmm. where you have someone other than the you know patient right if you're talking mm -hmm. to their colleague if you're talking to their you know their friend their mother their father right mm -hmm. you have to okay. make sure that you are extra empathetic that's one thing secondly mm -hmm. you would always be taking the patient's you'd be asking the patient's name because you would always okay. be given a scenario where it would be written that what is this particular patient's name right okay. or what is the patient's situation so always ask the patient's name if like for example this is a pediatric card and mm -hmm. this is a patient who is um, who is not talking but their mother is talking still you yes, say may i confirm the name and age of your child right okay because you know they're not going to send you like blindfolded they'll definitely give you some information that who you are talking to okay okay as as i do uh, also teach for flap 2s right so there mm -hmm. also when you'd be doing your flap 2 it would be there that they you know uh, they tell you that you know you're talking to a mother or you're talking to a 20 year old or a friend or a colleague they mm -hmm. always tell you right talk to him and that is quite natural isn't it yes ma'am okay so let's start this card from the very beginning okay ma'am good evening my name is dr hema i am one of the doctor here at intensive care unit at the children's hospital may i confirm the name and age of your child yes doctor my name uh, my child's name is elise and she is 4 years old okay nice to meet you now i understand that you are worried about the diagnosis of okay. your okay here is the thing. here is the thing mm -hmm. didn't it feel odd that you know the person's a uh, child's name you have confirmed and you're saying to them nice to meet like, you right how yes, about you have said thank you for thank you for that right okay. okay thank you like like you could be a little natural here whatever seems natural you should do that right okay. isn't it natural to say thank you for share thank you for telling me that or thank you for confirming okay yes yeah, that's good so again from the beginning <clears throat> good evening My name is Dr. Hema. I am one of the doctor here in intensive care unit at Children's Hospital. May I confirm the name and age of your child? Yes, doctor. My daughter's name is Elise and she's 4 years old. Thank you for confirming the name and age. Now I understand that you are worried about the test results and the definitive diagnosis of your child. Is that right? Yes doctor I am very worried about it right how about you know instead of saying that you're worried about the test results and definitive diagnosis because we're being too technical here hmm. should we be too technical or how no. about we say how about we say that all right so i can see that your child has been administered uh, has been admitted here and yes. if you can read the scenario of your card can you read the scenario hmm. of introduction can you read that yes. for me The parent of a three-year-old girl is seeking advice and diagnosis prior to the recept recept of a full test results following mm -hmm. the emergency admission of his her daughter yesterday. Yeah. She was right. suffering from anaphylactic shock, almost certainly as a result of food allergy. Right. She's. So, mm -hmm. Do you understand what is happening? Ki yes, ma'am. She has been admitted, right? Okay. She has been admitted. She's three years old, and you know, you know, they are just saying that you have done this and this to that patient, and now they are mm -hmm. just trying to see that you know how you are, uh, you know, going to deal with it and how you're going to make this patient better. As it says okay, on the screen, if you can, can, can you see the screen, Doctor Hema? Let me open the okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. See, it says you are the parent of a three-year-old who is currently mm -hmm. being treated in the ICU. Right. That's for me. For your card, it says that this girl is this. This is seeking advice for the diagnosis, mm -hmm. right? And uh, following mm -hmm. the admission. Now, always, you know, if you want to know what you have to do in the situation, you mm -hmm. should read the second last line or the last line of your introduction. So here it says. Currently, this ch this child is re recovering after subcutaneous administration Adrenaline. of adrenaline. Adrenaline. The parent appears appears calm. calm, right? 
So that mm. means that the parent has come, but they are here for what? They are here because they want to see what has happened. Now, could you okay. tell me how many tasks here are in your card? There are two tasks, but second one includes a lot of answers that and questions. Good. That is very good. You really pointed it out that there are two tasks, right? Mm. What is the first task here? Be sympathetic and reassuring. Be sympathetic and reassuring. When they tell you on your own that you're supposed to be sympathetic and reassuring, that means you're in trouble. Okay. Okay. You know what that means? Yes. That, yes, that, you know, Already you were being sympathetic and, you know, uh, you were being nice to the patient. Now they are mm -hmm. telling you extra. Right? Okay. As I told yeah. you, you know, if you have, if you have a person and um, they are Hello? having... Yes, can you can you hear me, Dr. Hema? Can you hear me? Ma'am, ma'am, voice is breaking, but now it's clear. All right. What I'm saying is that you know, when you have a patient and they mm -hmm. have a mother, you have to be okay. extra sympathetic, far more extra sympathetic when you have somebody else with them. Clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. So let's do this card from the very beginning. And also you'd be telling the situation, you'd be saying, all right, all right. So um, thank you for confirming the name. I can see that your daughter, Elise, if you want to repeat the name, that's all right. But if you forget, that's okay too. Okay, you can ma say that I can see that uh, your, but when you take the patient's name, it, it mm. builds a rep, right? It builds yes. a repo. And we want okay. to do that. It builds a yes, repo. So you can say that I can see that Elise had been admitted because she underwent, you know, like an anaphylactic shock. And right now, because it was of a food allergy, we're thinking, and now she's recovering after the subcutaneous administration of adrenaline. Um, let me reassure you, we're here for you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Right? Yes, we're trying okay. to be more good and kind and nice to this mother. Because, you know, mothers overthink mm. and they are Realm, even if a child yes, gets a pinprick, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah? ma'am. So let's do this from the very beginning. Okay, ma'am. Good evening. My name is Dr. Hema. I am one of the doctor here in intensive care unit at Children's Hospital. May I confirm the name and age of your child? Yes, doctor. My daughter's name is uh, Elisha, and she is sixty-six. Uh, she is four years old. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you for confirming the name and age of your daughter. Now I can see that your daughter had been admitted to the emergency department yesterday as she suffered an anaphylactic shock as a result of certain kinds of food allergy. But now she's currently recovering from that after the administration of subcutaneous adrenaline. Okay, mm -hmm. is there okay, is there anything else? I'm here for you. If you have any queries, you can ask me anytime okay. I'm here for you. Okay. You're going to say you can ask from me. Please write it down. Not ask me, ask from ask me. Ask from me. Ask from me. That is number one. Secondly, secondly, here's the thing, Dr. Hema. Uh, like you mm -hmm. said that, you know, uh, like like you can you should also be you you, you are being sympathetic. Right, mm -hmm. that I that that you know I can see this is a problem and all of this. You should also say, "Don't worry, we are here for you." Right? Yes. You know what is the difference between empathy and sympathy? We did speak about it in the beginning, right? In empathy, yes, what it is that you know you are dealing uh, with a patient, right? Mm -hmm. And you're dealing with a patient who is what um, you know, like in sympathy, we just say things, right? Empathy, because we put ourselves in the patient's in shoes. The patient's shoes. Right? Why? Why yes, are we saying that? Because you know, then we understand then that what, what they're suffering from. Might, what they're suffering from. Like, uh, just see if, for example, mm -hmm. you were in a situation like hers, mm -hmm. you wouldn't just want to hear things, right? You would also yes, want. You would also want support. So yes, why do they say that empaths are better than sympaths? Because empaths try to help people, right? Mother yes, Teresa. Abdul Sattar, ED, right? These people, they mm -hmm. just did just not say things, they did things, right? Yes, yes. Nelson Mandela, right? So in empathy, you'd be saying like, you recognize a problem, you say sorry, then you'd be saying, but do not worry, I'm here for you. I'd make sure you. things, right? Okay. That is your empathy, okay? So we're going to just, like you're going to, I have told you why I'm here, et cetera. Now you are going to reply again. 
All right, the first task. Okay. okay. I can see that your daughter had been admitted yesterday with a anaphylactic shock due to certain kinds of food allergy. Now she is doing well after the administration of adrenaline. Don't worry, I am here for you. If you have any queries, you can ask me. Ask from me. Ask from me. All right. Please write it down in the points where I've said that you know the mistakes kind of thing. Yes, I wrote okay. it. Okay, good. good. Um, yes, doctor. Thank you so much for saying that. Well, doctor, I'm really, really worried. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know how this happened. How did it happen? Was it because of something she ate or drank at the party? I can completely understand that it is a worrying situation for you, but let me inform you that. It might be due to some food or drink at party. Have she eaten anything at the party? No, no, we are not going to ask questions. What is your second okay. uh, second task? What is your second task? Include the following information in your response to his or her question. So answer her name. Here's the last questions. You just have to answer. Right. Okay. Following task is really important. If this was flap two, for instance, or if this was, mm -hmm. you know, step or if this was, you know, um, MRCP part two or their basis, mm -hmm. that's when you get to direct and do things on your own. Here you are scripted, right? Okay. Here you are scripted. You have to follow the task. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. I can understand that you are worried about the possibility that food had might cause the symptoms of your daughter, but let me inform you that food may have caused your daughter's symptoms. It's likely. I'm hoping you are following me. Yes, doctor, I do follow that. I do understand that. Achha, how many mm -hmm. sub tasks? How many sub tasks do you have in your task two? Can you count them for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 Right. And how much time do we have? About four minutes we have five minutes in total one minute to just you know rehearse the mm. situation and go for your task one and then four to three minutes for your next one now mm. you know what you have to do is here you have to combine two or three tasks together right or okay. two or three situations together even though even though mm. it is like you have to answer their questions but how about you mm. say that yes it could have been because of the food she might have drank or ate at the party but let me reassure you after the confirmation of allergen we would mm. uh, we have been um, you know like um, administrating a diagnostic test once the allergen is confirmed would be here to make sure things go good Right, like you could do the second task on your own, right? Okay. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. I can okay. complete. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, आप अपना सवाल पूछे, फिर मैं उसके हिसाब से इसको जवाब देती हूँ. All right. Well, uh, doctor, what if my mm -hmm. uh, well, doctor? I don't know. Like, I don't know what had happened. I mean, we were at a party, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, she started gasping. You know, it it was really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me why that happened? I can completely understand that you are worried about that. What happened to your daughter? But let me inform you, it could have been caused by a food or drink at party, and I would like to administer some diagnostic tests in order to confirm that type of allergen. Do you think you can do that for me? No, we're not asking questions, right? No, I mean, I mean, understanding, you know, that diagnostic tests, karwa ne, fir bhi man se nahi. That is true. We mm. have to see that confirmation of allergen to be done by administration of diagnostics test, right? We're going okay. to say that we would run, or we have okay. run diagnostic tests. We're telling them that we are doing things, right? Okay. Because he's he's in an ICU. It's an intensive okay. care unit, so the situation is intensive. That means that you have done these things already. Okay. Right, Dr. Okay. Clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I can. I can completely understand that you are worried about what happened to your daughter. It could have been due to food or drink at party. We are going to run. We are going to run few tests in order to confirm the allergen. And uh, 
we are going to run few at diagnostic tests in order to confirm the allergen all right okay um, you would be saying i'm hoping that's all right with you where i'm hoping you understand what i'm trying to say okay matlab aakhir mein fir ye matlab ek question you always have to answer to the question because you know if you don't then the person mm. will take time to talk right and it would yes, take it would waste right so we don't want that okay i am hoping you understand that or i am hoping you are getting me yes that's true all right okay doctor thank you so much for saying that well doctor um i don't know like could you tell me what is allergy and mm -hmm. what does it mean by that i'm very confused what does it mean okay i know that you are confused what actually allergy is but let me describe it for you it's a type of immune response in which our immune system react against some non toxic substance like in your daughter case food because we you, all people in your daughter's okay. case yes. it's food we have we all have different immune system and they react accordingly so in allergic in allergy immune system reacts against non toxic substances that are actually non toxic for all people and it can be life threatening sometimes i am hoping you are following me okay that is good but don't try and over explain right like keep it simple keep it simple okay. because we have lots of things to do right okay. all right doctor thank you so much for saying that well doctor is she going to have the situation for have forever i mean i'm just really really worried is she going to have this forever i can completely understand that you are worried about the i am i completely understand that you are worried about your daughter situation but let me reassure you that i have seen many children that have outgrown their allergies when they they grow older i am hoping it will put your worries at ease okay this is good now this is a mother right so instead mm -hmm. of saying i'm hoping understanding and all that we've been saying for all the cards how about we make it a little different here here it be okay. saying i can see that being a parent please write it down okay. i can see that being a parent i can see that being that a parent it is difficult being a parent it is difficult for you to see your daughter in such a situation difficult for you to see your daughter in such a situation but let me reassure you not reassure you we are here to help you out all right the next okay. thing, the next kind of thing you can say for to them is that i i know right like again if there is a parent and they are worried and all then you can say mm -hmm. that you know um i can see uh, or i can see uh, or i can only imagine how you might be feeling as your daughter is in this situation or as your child is in this situation i can only imagine how it might feel right like you you don't even understand how it is right mm -hmm. you just you just imagine right okay i can so only imagine Mm. I, i can only imagine how you might feel how you might feel about your about daughter your daughter oh, about your daughter anyone be in in this situation right okay uh, all right these kinds mm. these kinds of things it's, it's not even necessary that it's a parent it could be a colleague or someone else right so you can mm. say those things um and another sentence you can say is that you know um for a child or for a friend etc that um i'm 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 uh um i see that i see that i see that how, that how it might upset you how it might upset you as you're very close to them whatever the person is right whoever the person is but don't yes. worry i'll make sure that they receive the best treatment possible
Yes, ma'am. Should we continue from there? All right. Well, um, doctor, I mean, how are we supposed to prevent this thing in the future? I mean, what if this happens to her when she's not around and with someone else? I see that it might upset you as you are very close to your daughter, but don't worry, I will make sure they receive the best treatment possible. And for as you are concerned about the future prevention, you have to supervise your daughters. Mm -hmm. For the future prevention, you have to make sure that you avoid the allergen that we will record after the diagnostic test and you have to avoid them and you have to inform the super you have to inform the supervising adults if there being any problem or any danger you suspect you have to inform the supervising adults they will help you okay can you read this task for me dr hammer future prevention avoid allergens when identified Inform See. supervising adults of problems causes dangers. Yes. Of problem causes dangers of what? Dangers of allergy. In a okay. phylactic show. Allergen <laughs> of this allergen that you're supposed to tell them about what this allergen is or what this anaphylactic shock is, how it might happen and what could how it can be dangerous. Right? Okay, ma'am. You get that? All right. Okay, I interpret okay. the sometimes, wrong meaning of that sentence. Right? No, no. Mm. so this is what I'm trying to tell you. Sometimes mm. what would happen is that, you know, things might not make sense, right? Mm. Or you, it's not necessary that all the time you'd understand the task. Sometimes you might not understand mm. the task. So what okay. can you do in that situation? In that situation, just read the task as it is. Just okay. read the task as it is. And try to, you know, like use it to your advantage, right? Like if you don't understand, then I could have mm -hmm. said that I can understand that you're very close to your daughter and you don't want to see her in such situation, right? Mm -hmm. Here you can also say that instead of saying that um, you don't, you are upset, but um, or you can say that you don't want to see her in this situation. But let me reassure you that I'm here to help you. If it, if this happens in future, then we're supposed to avoid the allergen once it's identified and you can inform the supervising adults of the problems, causes and dangers. I'm hoping that this has put your worries at ease and do not worry. We we'll make sure that we're here for you always. If you have uh, if you do have any questions, please do go ahead. Right. Like, see, many. Mm. No, what I did was I just saw said that sentence really, mm. but I but I am tough. I increased my empathy. I increased hmm. my last question, right? Like I would work more on the things that I know I'm good at, right? Hmm. Empathy, the question, and less on the task because tasks can change. You understand, okay. Dr. Hemel? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Is it a good tip or not? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm going to ask again. Well, doctor, hmm. what if my daughter, what if my daughter's you know, like um, in, in with someone else and, you know, then they have this problem. What should we do then? I can see that being a parent, it is difficult for you to see your daughter in such a situation. But let me reassure you, we are here to help you. If this might happen in future, you have to avoid, we have to avoid allergen once it identified. And we have to inform the supervising adults of possible causes and problems and dangers. I'm hoping it will put your worries at ease. Yes, doctor, I'm so glad that you're telling me. I was really, really worried before that. Well, thank you so much, doctor. Well, doctor, what if such mm -hmm. episodes happen in the future? What would we do then? I can only imagine how you might feel if that happens again. But let me reassure you, I'm here for you. And I would like to suggest you some treatment option that will help you. It's a, like a pain. It's a pain that we call EpiPain. Have you heard about that before? No, doctor. Could you tell me what that is? Okay, so it's a pain. It contains the drug adrenaline. It will treat your daughter's symptoms. It and contains. It contains. It, I'm sorry to break you off. You did good, okay. but it contains. Mm -hmm. You're also looking mm -hmm. out for your grandma. Right. Okay, grammar is important. Okay. Okay, ma'am. EpiPen. It's a type of auto injector. It contains drug 
called adrenaline. It is helpful for your daughter's situation if it occurs in future and after that you have to seek immediate medical attention. I am hoping you know how to use that pain. Yeah, I will ask them, do you know how to use that pain? No, no, no. That is not your task. Is it that teach okay. them how do they know? Right? Don't no. put yourself in trouble. Right? Sometimes we go, you know, like, and like try being good and extra sympathetic and empathetic. Right? We have to keep a balance. Mm. Whatever is there in the part, only do that. I mean, you can add things, but only if you know you can tackle them. What if they say, I don't know, then would you, you would be okay. explaining it to them. How about it is wrong? See, if you can see things, you can say things that yes, are medically yeah. incorrect, but try not to, mm. right? Don't put yourself in trouble. You know, it is, it is said, uh, you know, like politicians and, mm. you know, the people who give interviews and, you know, the people who are on the TV or who have to deal with patients or have, they do mm. talking for a living. They only speak of the things that they are sure of, you know? Yes, right. And yes, if they don't understand the situation, they say, I do not understand. Right. So yes, George is anything mm. that you know, it speak about it. If you don't know it, try not to put yourself in trouble. OK. 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 Should we do this card again from the beginning? I'm going to give you a minute. Okay. Go through it and we'll start it from the very beginning. All right. OK. OK. Ma'am. Whenever you are ready, we can start, Dr. Hema. Hmm. Begin? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. Good evening. My name is Dr. Hema. I am one of the doctors here in intensive care unit at Children's Hospital. May I confirm the name and age of your child? Yes, doctor. My daughter's name is Elise and she's seven years old. Thank you for confirming. Now I can see that your daughter Elise has been admitted to emergency department yesterday as she has suffered in a phylactic shock, possibly due to food allergy. Fortunately, she is recovering after the subcutaneous administration of adrenaline. Don't worry about her. I'm here to help you. If you have any queries, you can ask me. I am always here for you. All right. This was very, very good. But ask from me. Please write it down. Please ask write it down. from me. Please write it down yes, in capital bold. Underline it in the portion where I've made you write your name. Right, we're, we're not using phrases, yes. we're using sentences, right? Yes, ask from me. Yes, yeah. well, yes, doctor, thank you so much for helping me out. I do, I am very worried about her. Mm. I cannot see her like this, and this has never happened before. Doctor, do you mm. think it was because of something that she ate at the party? I can see that being a parent, it is a difficult situation for you to see your daughter being in such condition, but let me reassure you, I'm here for you, and the symptoms could have been caused by food or drink at party. And in order to confirm the allergen, I would like to run few diagnostic tests. I am hoping you are understanding me. Yes, doctor, I do follow. I am understanding what you're trying to say. Thank you so much for That's saying good. that. Well, uh, mm -hmm. doctor, you know, I just don't know. Uh, like, could, could you tell mm -hmm. me what is, what is this allergy that you're talking about? Okay, I can completely understand that you are very much worried about your daughter's condition. 
and you are very worried about what the actually allergy is but let me inform you what the allergy is it's a immune response in which our immune system react against non toxic substances such as in your daughter's case the non toxic substances is food and in some cases it might be doctor hmm doctor hello I'm sorry to cut you off you're doing hmm? really really there is lots of background noise can you change your position just a little just give me a minute ma'am yeah no worries no worries i understand how it goes i've got a full house in my home as well हेलो हेलो आई यू डियर मैम यस डॉक्टर हेमा शुड वी स्टार्ट शुड वी कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम हेयर सो आई वाज सेइंग आई वाज सेइंग सब्सटेंस नॉट सब्सटेंस सब्सटेंस प्लीज राइट इट डाउन substance substance right? like like write sub s u b sub sub t e n c e right like substance right t e n c s e right that's how you pronounce it substance substance can sub you say that again substance substance one more time substance good very good all right substance Good, good, good. Really Substance. nice. All right. Good, good. Okay, let's move forward. Let's move forward, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So, so doctor, could you tell me what is allergy? Okay, I can completely understand that you are worried about your daughter. Let me describe the allergy for you. It's basically an immune reaction to certain non-toxic substance. and it sometime it can be life threatening too as in your daughter case the non toxic substance was foods i am hoping you understanding what i am saying yes doctor i do understand that thank you so much for telling this to me because you know i got really really worried well doctor i just want to know that mm -hmm. i mean is she always going to have this allergy like is she, is she never going to get better i i can only imagine how you might feel about your daughter can the daughter being in this situation but let me reassure you that i have seen many children they have outflown with their allergies and they are doing well i'm hoping it will put your worries at ease try and combine the next task in it okay I can only imagine how you might feel about your daughter being in such a situation but let me reassure you that I have mean I have seen many children they have outgrown with their allergies and now they are doing very well and for the future prevention I would like to suggest that you have to avoid allergen once it identified and you have to inform supervising aiders if you see any problem or you who suspect any dangers around your daughter i'm hoping it will put your worries at ease thank you so much for saying that doctor i feel far more satisfied and i guess she is in right hands well doctor if this happens in future what I'm, are we supposed to do about it i see that how it might upset you if it happens again in future but let me reassure you i am here i will make sure that i will inform you about the best treatment possible i would like to suggest you to use a epipen have you heard about that before no doctor what is it so it's like a auto injector it contains a drug called adrenaline adrenaline it will will treat your daughter's symptoms and after that you have to seek immediate medical attention do you think you do that for me do you think you can do that uh, yes doctor that sounds good i think i would be trying that that's really good do you have any question you ask from me 
you can ask from me right do you, you do you have do you have any question you can ask from me do you have any more questions right do you have any more questions questions you can... want you want to ask from me do you have no. any more questions you want to ask from me no doctor this is all that i was concerned about thank you so much for seeing me today nice to meet you if you have any concern you can ask me and you can ask from call me you, ask from me if you have okay. any question you can ask from me i'm here for you always okay this is really really good dr hema do you have any questions on your own okay ma'am yahan pe ye jo line thi na inform supervising adults matlab iski asal meaning yahi hai ke unhi ko inform karna hai किसी सुपरवाइजिंग एडल्स को या फिर इसकी मीनिंग ऐसे है कि जैसे हम है हम उनको मतलब उसकी मदर को बताएं कि क्या कॉजेस डेंजर्स हो सकते हैं असल में इसकी मीनिंग क्या है दिस दिस मींस दैट राइट यू आर ट्राइंग टू आस्क दैट व्हाट इट मींस दैट whether we should be informed or is it really means that you are supposed to tell the informing uh, the supervising adults see we're telling them that mm-hmm. whoever the child is around if she's mm-hmm. around you know her school teachers mm-hmm. their friends etc okay right all right yes ma'am dr hema any more questions no ma'am ma'am please and tell me some mu- for 